Hello and welcome to our video on purchase orders, uh, the third video in the funding series. Um, this video um, has all of the information that you will need in order to get a purchase order and then how to use it. Um, we talked about our vendors list previously in regards to reimbursements. Um, they also have all of the information uh, on the side with vendors that take purchase orders from us. This is the most common uh, vendors that we use, not the only ones. If you know of a vendor who will accept a purchase order and you would like to use a purchase order there, you can just let us know and we can um, set up the details for that. It's not usually that complicated, but sometimes it does take an extra day or two. So if you are wanting a purchase order at a certain location, give us an extra couple of days um, if we don't already have an account set up with them. So first things with getting a purchase order, you need to give us a call at the office or send me an email and I need to know the amount of the purchase order that you are wanting to use as well as where you're wanting that purchase order for. Now, a lot of the or a lot of the vendors on our list are, um, they're just single location stores and that's fine. However, Staples, they do have stores across Alberta and we have an account with all of them. Uh, so we, I do need to know which location you want the purchase order for, not just Staples. I need to know which Staples you want that um, purchase order for. Um, with purchase orders during the week, I usually get this purchase order done the same day, like fairly quickly after you let me know what you're wanting it for, where you're wanting it for. However, I do always tell people, give me at least a day, 24 hours ish. So don't call me when you're standing at the Staples store. Cause if I am not able to take your call at that moment, then I can't get you the purchase order and I want to be able to do that for you. So just give me even a day or a few hours, call me in the morning if you're going in the afternoon even. Um, and then I can get that done up for you right away. Um, purchase orders, uh, it's pretty easy in terms of the way that the funding works. I get a few questions with that. If you want to make a purchase or you want the purchase order for $500 and you're at Staples and it ends up being 510, you just have to cover that $10 personally. If it ends up being you know, $400, that $100 does go back into your home account. It's not just gone. As soon as I get the bill from Staples, that extra $100 goes back into your account. Uh, the only thing I will add with that because there is a bit of time because the from when the vendor submits the um, invoice to myself for payment if you are wanting to do something else with that hundred dollars um, you might end up having to wait a little bit just because I do have to make sure that that hundred dollars isn't being spent twice and I need to make sure that everything is balancing on my end uh, but you do definitely get that money back it's not just gone um, so we have a information on our website in regards to purchase orders. Uh, you can pull that up and, and read over that. It's, it's fairly simple to use. Um, purchase orders, we start doing in the fall um, and we usually stop doing them mid-April. Um, date changes from year to year, but um, just kind of keep in mind uh, mid-April is when we stop doing purchase orders and then you need to have your purchase orders used by the end of April. So if you have gotten a purchase order and just haven't had a chance to go and use it and the end of April is coming and you're not sure if you're gonna be able to use it, just give me a call or send me an email, let me know because I can usually make an arrangement with that store. Um, but I do need to know because the stores are also aware of our deadlines so that they can um, kind of keep their books in order as well for us. So just let me know how that goes um, and we can, we can take care of all of that. Um, I think that's kind of it for purchase orders. Uh, a big thing with the purchase orders is um, you do need to make sure that what you're purchasing is reimbursable or eligible for um, reimbursement or for funding, uh, which is why it's nice. A lot of our vendors are very good with knowing what is allowed and what isn't. Um, Staples, actually, we have a catalog with Staples. Um, so if it's in the catalog, you know you can purchase it on purchase order or being reimbursed for it. Um, but that would be the only, or not the only reason, but one of the reasons that some of the vendors on our list, we are not able to accept purchase or write purchase orders for. Um, so if there is something, like I say, a new vendor or somewhere that you're just not sure of, just give me a call or an email and I can usually get that set up for you. 
One more thing about purchase orders. I probably should have said this at the beginning. Um, purchase orders are not a credit card. So it is good for one purchase at one store. So if you get a purchase order for $500 to Staples and you go in on Monday and you only spend $250 and then you're like, oh shoot, I forgot I actually wanted this printer as well. And you're gonna go into Staples on Tuesday and spend another $100 you need to get another purchase order. You can't use the same purchase order twice at the same store, nor can you use the purchase order that I gave you for Staples at Share or anywhere else. It is single use, even if it's at the same store, just one time. Even if you didn't use it all, you just need to call me and get another one.